fourth try. They could not get the moon rocket off the ground, Adam Claybon. Uh, back here at home, we're talking uh, pretty decent weather, but that storm really packing a punch. Yeah, it's going to warm up here and it's still going to feel like summer and they're still dealing with hurricane season, which goes all the way into November. So let's talk about Hurricane Eden first before we get into what's going to be happening here soon. So it's at a category one storm of winds of 100 or of 85 miles per hour, but it gets all the way up to possibly a category four storm. That's a major hurricane with winds possibly of 130 miles per hour or higher. Now, as it gets closer to Tampa, you can see that's going to be moving just north of there and then weakening at the same time. Again, we're the worst or really what the impacts we're expecting to be the most of will be that storm surge and then also as it continues northward, how slow it moves. So Wednesday, Thursday and then by Saturday, you see that right there at the top of your screen, it's relatively weaker, but you're saying a lot of time elapsing in between these two icons right here between the hurricane two status and then where it's just a tropical depression down to a low. So there's going to be a lot of rain that's going to fall here into more the big bend area of Florida than heading up into Georgia and then a lot of that moisture is going to be on the right side of the storm. So as it's positioned, yes, it looks like they'll be getting the worst impacts there across the peninsula in Florida and then that will continue its way farther to the north. So let's go back to home. It's going to be warm today and we'll see highs back up in the 80s and the record for today 78 degrees. It looks like that's going to be a sure thing that we actually get to that or if not break that. Then we'll start to see those highs fall back down into the 70s and the 60s on into the rest of the week. And you can see those records nowhere in doubt for us Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or Friday as they're going to be well into the 80s. And then by the time we get into Thursday and Friday, we're highs. We're seeing highs back in the 60s and the 70s. Still a pretty warm day tomorrow, though. We'll top off at 77. Now with the summer like feel with the temperatures, we're also seeing that summer like feel with more of that smoke haze that is in the sky. Moderate air quality for Seattle down to Tacoma. We'll see good air quality elsewhere for the time being. We'll see how that smoke does start to come together, but a lot of this is being pulled in from the south and we're getting some of that too coming off from the east from that Bolt Creek fire and that is just going to continue to be the case. Now you can see the thicker and denser smoke is going to stay farther to the east, east of the Cascades. We'll still see that high thin smoke that's into the atmosphere and then we'll finally start, start to see that move out of here by late tomorrow night heading to early Wednesday morning around midnight and by that time we're talking about rain starting to come back into the picture for the forecast here. Sky is clear but a bit hazy right now in Olympia. You can notice a little bit of that too, with Hurricane Ridge, but for the most part, things are looking fairly good. And then also Stevens Pass. Nice to see that things are looking fairly clear with not much of that smoke haze showing up in the sky right now there. But you can definitely tell what's happening here at Granite Falls. You can see the school net site showing that smoke haze really blanketing over Mount Hillchuck right now. And the same thing for Mount Rainier. Can't really even pick out where it is. 69, a calm wind right now. Plenty of sunshine. Going to feel great outside, but we'll see those skies definitely stay hazy. Tonight, uh, we're going to see high pressure slowly but surely start to move farther to the east. We'll get a little more of that return flow start to come back into the day tomorrow, and that will allow some clouds to build in as we head into the first part of the day before this large mass of clouds and rain will start to head our way heading on into tomorrow night and into Wednesday. So for today, plenty of sunshine going to be nice and warm. Tonight, you can see that marine layer trying to come back in tomorrow morning. A deck of clouds to start off our day. Those will burn off, so plenty of sunshine expected tomorrow afternoon. It's still a little smoke haze into the day tomorrow, and the rain chances start to come back around by the time we head on into the day Wednesday morning around 5 to 6 a.m. Here's your seven-day forecast. Cooling down over the next few days after today, back into the 70s and the 60s. The rain chances Wednesday and Thursday. The heat, though, coming right back. We'll see highs back in the 70s over the weekend and near 80 by next Sunday.